So good afternoon, everyone. My name is Zen Maxine San Miguel. I'm JKS Scholar Batch 2021. I'm currently first year, second time in Inha Technical College under Mechanical Engineering Program. So for today, I will discuss to you basic information about associate degree. So first of all, let's talk about quota. So from the previous years, naka-indicate per country kung ilan ang quota nila. For Philippines last year, meron silang dalawang quota for associate. But as you can see right now, nag-merge yung mga countries na pagbibigyan nila ng um, quota. So sa Southeast Asia, merong seven. Northeast Asia, merong one. Southwest Asia, merong three. Central Asia have two. The American, the Europe, the Pacific have one. The Middle East, Africa have one. In total of 15. So I think in my year, meron 35 associate quota for every country. So as you can see, nag sila almost half ng quota from the previous years. So next na one is yung available universities. So sa associate, Merong three institutions, which is Gyeongbuk University, Usan University, Gyeongjin University. So, ito yung mga list ng documents na nire-required ng JKS. So, makikita nyo to dun sa guidelines sa website, which is yung study in Korea. So, let's talk about the universities. So, first one is the Kyungbuk University. So, sa Kyungbuk University, as you can see, the period of years, lahat yon three years. Actually, nagdidepende ang period of years mo kung anong department or major ang gusto mo. And as I said, na tatlo lang yung university na in-offer ngayon ng associate degree, pero mas dumami naman yung department na in-offer nila. So, naka-indicate din dito yung medium of instruction, which is Korean, and it requires topic 3 for admission or more. Same as Usan University, like most of it, it requires topic 3 or above for admission. And as you can see naman dito, may 2 years, may 3 years, depende yun sa department. And Yongjin... Uh, as you can see, kumpara sa dalawang university, mas onti yung in-offer niya. Pero, like, more on engineering division siya rin also. So, para uh, maging eligibility kayo sa scholarship na to, dapat yung nationality nyo ay hindi Korean. Like, you must be... Um, Filipino or kahit anong nationality as long as hindi ka Korean citizen. So sa level of education, nire-required ng scholarship na dapat nakapagtapos ka ng senior high school. Like, you need to submit your diploma or like the TOR. So sa grades naman, if you're kind of confused about how to convert it sa guidelines in the website, may kita nyo may nilagay silang conversion of grades. So, if 80 to 100% naman ang scale ng grades nyo, hindi kayo may hirapan kasi naka-indicate din dun sa conversion yon. So, nire-required nila na, na 2.64 above over 4.0 ang mga average ng applicant. Since it's a scholarship, nire-record nila na ma, mga 85 above ang average ng mga applicants. For age naman, dapat 25 years old ka and under. So sa health naman, in order na um, mapasali sa scholarship na to, kailangan nyo maging healthy and fit. If nag-positive kayo sa drug test or may serious illness kayo, um, madi-disqualify kayo kasi mas 
merong mga tao or mga applicants na mas deserving. So, ayun. For restriction naman, dapat ang mga applicants ay hindi graduate or expected graduate sa mga Korean high school. So, as you can see, yung mga applicants, uh, pagkapunta nila ng, pag kunyari, na, nakapasa kayo, yung mga applicants, magkakaroon ng one-year Korean language. Tapos sa one-year na yun, kailangan nyo mapasa ang topic. Ang topic is the Korean language na exam. So, ang nire-required mostly lang ng mga university ay topic 3. Pero may mga university na nag-required ng topic 4. So, in my case, last year, um, nag-aral ako sa Konyang University. Doon ako nag-Korean language. And meron akong friend na hindi niya napasa yung first year ng nagkaroon ng topic and the extend siya ulit ng another um, six months but but still hindi niya pa rin napasa. So ang nangyari sa kanya, pinauwi siya nung Korean government. So na-disqualify siya sa, um, sa scholarship. So makikita niyo dito na sobrang strict talaga ng mga Korean government when it comes to topic. So, kailangan nyo talaga mapasa in order makapag-move kayo or makapag-continue kayo sa um, studies nyo. So, application and selection. So, the first round, yung university ang magpipili sa inyo since ang associate degree ay under ng university track. So, ang gagawin nyo is Iko-contact niyo yung university niyo, tanong niyo kung may mga rec um, add additional requirements pa ba sila or kailan yung deadline kasi minsan hindi siya naka-indicate dun sa website. So ang first selection is yung university yung magpipili sa applicants na um, tingin nila pasok sa standards nila. Tapos i-recommend nila yun sa NIAID and yung NIAID yung magpipili ng pinaka-final na applicants. So, sa selection schedule naman, so, most likely, um, ang close ng scholarship is October 21. Pero may specific dates kasi yung mga university. So, make sure na tignan nyo yung website or uh, mag-email kayo sa kanila. So, by um, for interview, by November 11, mga nag-email na yung mga university if pasado ka na para makapag-interview. So, yung mga applicants, um, i-recommend -re sila sa NIED and also like uh, magiging final, uh, yung final announcement will be on December. I think nakuha ko yung sa akin around December 3rd week. So, before siya mag-Christmas. So, yung sa scholarship information, like earlier, I said na may one year of Korean language training kayo plus two or three years of degree program. Like, nakadepende yun kung anong program nyo. For, for my case, yung mechanical engineering is only two years in Inha Technical College. But like, ito yung mga most likely na mga tinatanong sa akin ng mga applicants na um, ano daw po yung pinagkaiba ng associate degree and bachelor's degree? So as you can see, pag bachelor's degree, umaabot siya ng 4 to 5 years. But pag associate degree, 2 to 3 years lang. So actually, in my case, natanong ko to sa coordinator ko, pag nag-associate degree ka, ba 2 or 3 years, nakapag-aral ka, pag gusto mong magkaroon din ng um, bachelor's degree, it requires only two or one year na lang para ma-complete. So, imagine sa four years na yon, dalawang degree yung natapos mo. So, parang yung associate degree kasi ano siya, additional degree siya. Parang kung pagbabasihan mo, mas mataas talaga ang bachelor's degree kaysa sa associate. Pero kung nagawa mong tapusin ang four years with two degrees, which is really good, Kasi dalaw, pag nag-a-apply ka sa mga companies or sa work, 
may kita nilang dalawang degree mo, pero same lang din ang pinag-aralan mo sa bachelor's. Actually, depende yan sa school. Kung yung school na yun, um, inaccredit nila yung mga credits na ginawa mo ng first year and second year, makakatungtong ka agad sa third year. So, you must find a suitable university for you. So, ayan. So, as you can see naman, important um, notice, pag ang applicant is merong topic 5 or 6 ng Korean language, um, diretso na kayo sa pagsa-study nyo. Pero pag, kunyari, sa 1 to 6 months, nakapasa ka agad ng 5 to 6 na topic, um, hindi mo na kailangan tapusin yung one year na Korean language. Kaila, um, pwede ka na agad mag dumiretso sa program, sa program mo. So yung scholarship benefits, as you can see, merong 200,000 won settlement allowance. Pag galating nyo dito, yung first month na bibigyan nila kayo ng allowance is magdadagdag sila ng 200,000 won and may 9 900,000 won monthly. Actually, nakadepende to sa university kung kailan yung date nila. Kasi nung nasa kanyang university ako, every end of the month. But nung lumipat ako sa INHA, every first of the month yung bigayan nila ng allowance. So, ayun. So, mer um, inaano rin nila yung medical insurance uh, uh, cover din nila yung medical insurance and all. So, yun lang. For more um, questions, you can uh, you can write it down in the YouTube or in the comment and um, we will try our best na sagutin lahat ng mga questions nyo. And I would like to say na good luck sa applicants kasi I feel like ang competitive talaga lahat ng applicants ngayon like grabe. So, ayun, I hope your journey will be will be a blast and hope to see you soon, guys. And for my tips when it comes to um doing personal um statement, uh like ipakita niyo lang kung kung ano talaga kayo, like be be real, be more specific kung ano ba talaga yung plans nyo because uh, etong scholarship talaga is hindi lang siya yung basta-basta na scholarship. It requires a lot of um, mental stability, emotional stability kasi sobrang hirap talaga na pumunta sa isang bansa na wala kang alam kahit yung language, wala kang kapamilya na pwede mong takbuhan anytime. So, kailangan mo talagang maging sure bago ka mag-apply dito. And I hope na sana uh, mas madami pang ma-inspired at mag-apply in the near future. So, yun. Thank you!